15. Especially against a team like you. Time and time again, fight it themselves. Maybe, but he just tournament. <laughs> I don't think like if that's our if what you're saying is true and that's our mentality. It hasn't been a winning rest. Now, Terrorblade might finally meet its demise. Six and zero right now. Hands. Maybe all this team fight, this overwhelming team fight, might be the solution to eliminate them. Suns fan, give me your most deadpan Prepare stare. Prepare for battle. Suns okay. fan with Cinderin. Don't Game enable three. him, Tsunami. What are you doing? You know, I had a great intro plan, and then Tsunami challenged me to a stare-off contest. You know, one thing he does beat me in is just the beard quality. I, I have to admit, this thing that's on my face is just absolutely hideous compared to the beauty that he has grown over, the, I assume, the lifetime. I have a tip for that. What's that? You can work on it. That's nah, too much work. Okay. Well, that's my best advice. If yeah. you want, if Appreciate you want a beard that. like his, you need to put an effort. So game three of this best of three for the lower bracket semifinals of the Animator EG versus Vici Gaming. Loser goes home, winner is secured top three and they play the loser of PSG LGD versus T1 Cinderin. Yep, I guess we, something we haven't talked about is that we, we made our own predictions going into this tournament about oh, some placements. Here we go. And why would you bring this up now? Because oh, both predictions are looking really good. Are they? Yeah, so you predicted both EG and Quincy to go top four, which is very close currently. EG is one game away. Quincy was as close to top four as you can be. Well, EG is top four. Right. So, oh yeah, actually, yeah. But Quincy so EG, top six. Right, so you were as close as possible without being right. Okay. And I you. predicted two Chinese teams in top three, which is as close as possible with out being right if Vici lose. Right. So then we tie and if But not, then I chose Virtus Pro to win the tournament and where are they? Why did you mention that? Now you're just making yourself look uh, bad. I mean it was a bold prediction. I feel like you should get extra credit for bold predictions, but <laughs> no matter you know, how wrong. They in America are. we round up and the uh -huh. bold predictions give you an extra point. That's just how it works. So okay. looking at these lineups, Cinderin, mm -hmm. who are you liking? We got Vici gaming with the double doom potential with Soulbind. We got the Chronosphere with I guess Lena doing some damage on the sideline and then the other side EG. Well, we've seen a lot of these here. They've played all these heroes a lot this tournament and they've yep. had great success so far. Um I think what AUI and Jenkins were talking about is pretty much spot on, right? Like you're looking at a Vichy Gaming lineup that has a lot of team fight but limited like low commitment play potential. A lot of it's gonna come from the Lena. Uh, whereas EG, they have the puck that they've had so much success with just setting up fight after fight for them without committing a lot. They have the Lion that's worked very well. Uh, the Timber Saw once again. So I think the road to victory here is really different for the two teams. And the most important thing for Vici Gaming is to not get off to a terrible start where EG snowballs on them like they did in one of the other games here. And like EG have done in many games in the tournament. Uh, if they can stabilize, I think they have a very good shot come mid-late game, especially late game. I really like Vici post 30, 40 minutes, mm -hmm. uh, but I do think EG have an edge in the beginning. It's about maximizing that for them. Yeah, I think the panel kind of brought it up. Like, Lina is going to be such an important hero just for the pace of this game. As bottom lane, we see the Stroke of Fate applied to Arteezy for now, and Fly just trying to keep 11, or old 11, off the back of Arteezy himself. But the voids that we've seen this tournament, it's felt very slow. Like if you have a Cataclysm combo or something to kind of get you through the mid game, then it's been okay. But I would say it's been a pretty underwhelming carry, at least from my perspective. Would you agree? In, in a lot of the games, yes. I think in this game, they have a lot of really good pairings though. I think uh, Lina works extremely well with the Chrono. Grimstroke is a great partner because it sets up Void for success during the Chrono. Uh, Wyvern, one of the better supports, a lot of magic damage when the enemy heroes are contained and can't like use items against Arctic Burn. And Chrono can even set the Soulbind combo into Double Doom, etc. So there's like a lot of potential, right? I think that's really the key word for Vichy Gaming's lineup. There's so much potential, but it's also conditional. So you need to try to find the right type of fights where you get to land all this stuff. I can see Void looking amazing this game, or I can see him looking completely useless. Yeah, I mean, the time it's, dilation <laughs> against a Timber Saw type hero is very nice. extremely good. It basically forces out a Lotus Orb or something to that effect, which yep. we did say last time we saw <laughs> I say sites on Timber Saw, I feel like, and he just refused to get in and he still stomped. So. He is buying one this game. Yeah. He's buying that Aureoles 100%. Yeah, especially for the Doom as well, so... Yeah, should be an interesting game to say the least. Uh, I mean, would you favor one team in the early, like in terms of laning? 
Like, obviously, this is still relatively early, just like on paper, as we see old 11 getting pressured a bit. PYW in the meantime. Oh. All right, Fire Spirit's applied with the Arteezy Metamorphosis. And actually, they're just going to turn this on to old 11. He does have the Ink Swell applied to him right now, but that's first blood for Arteezy. And as we were talking about lanes, it looks like this bottom lane is already in favor of EG. How many times have we seen people underestimate Metamorphosis damage? It is just so disgusting how good this skill is in lane. That Arteezy will grab that first blood. I believe he got it, right? It wasn't the Phoenix that got the yes, last hit. it was RT. So that is a, a it, great start for Ichi here. It's almost like being able to level your ult in the beginning of the game yeah. is pretty good, right? I mean, that's basically his ult, let's be real. Yeah. That's, all right, it's going to expire now. So old 11 will have more of a foothold in lane. Um, the ideal creep you can find here on Doom is probably the Ice Armor Ogre, mm. uh, which I think he will be looking for because the... I don't see the offensive plays down here necessarily working. Like, you do have Grimstroke Doom. There is a potential for kills, uh, but you can very easily get stuffed by the uh, Fire Spirits. They counter Doom really hard, actually. He can never swing his blade. His base attack time is really bad, so you might just, you know, settle for farming. Uh, Vici Gaming have won many a game this tournament on getting old 11 really, really rich. Right. Old so 11. They're actually well, trying yeah, here a bit. On him. It does connect onto Fly. Arteezy just trying to push out PYW. He's still in his melee form, but still doing a lot of damage regardless. Trying to get the block off of his illusion. Not quite fast enough, though. But still, damage has been done. Like, this is this is not any damage you can stop here. Oh, oh, canceling the south. That very nicely done from Arteezy. I actually can't believe that was in range. What is the range of that spell? It's pretty good. It's pretty ridiculous. ridiculous. Well, think, that, that was not 475. No, that's the radius. It also has cast range. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Right. Which it, of course, doesn't say because reasons. As I learned in a comment I read just uh, 15 minutes ago, it says nowhere on Hoodwink's sharpshooter that it breaks. Yeah. So there you go. You just got to figure that out yourself. Enjoy. That's part of the, the joy of learning Dota. You know, making mistakes. That is actually true. It's also part of the joy of learning how to read, is <laughs> learning how to see all the stuff that's not written on the page. Maybe it's invisible and you can only activate it with uh, some read sort of trigger. Read the lines. That's right, all right. Oh, yo, yo. It's off the time dilation. Ice Ice Ice, yeah, he's uh, Poyo Yo and Ice 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 in the same lane. That's gonna be fun to cast. Oh, he does get the courier, but I believe it was uh, it did deliver the items. D Y in the meantime. Oh, the by Ice action. Ice Ice right now. And yeah, it looks like the Lina ends up dying mid. That is a huge kill. But Poyo Yo, we're gonna be watching him for now. Timber Chain, yep. keeping him honest. He's gonna time walk away. Looks like he'll be fine. So the trade off in mid was a two v two. Fly died first to the Lina, and then Abed getting the return kill. Mm -hmm. Onto Ori. So overall, very good news for EG here. They get the first blood, they get the better trade yeah, mid, and they get a kill top. How, how long can Poyo Yo even stay in this lane? I mean, Ice 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 is going to be mega tanky now. Um, going to be hard to force him out. I think as long as you have time dilation ready, you have, you know, at least a defensive play against Timber. You can stay alive, but you're not going to be happy over time. The cooldown on time dilation is really high level one. Um, I wonder if there's a world where you skill differently because you're laning against Timber and get more points in the dilation for the lower cooldown so you can stay in lane. I, I don't know if there could be like a creative solution there, uh, but for now Poyoyo is going for the default max out time walk to negate damage, and you're going to see the replay here if they play mid, so they get fly here. No, the that spell. Well. Okay. And Abed gets the kill on the orb. That's it nuts. wasn't really even that close. Abed was... No. Very healthy, even taking Laguna, Laguna Blade to the face there. It's still a good Laguna cast, though. You're going to die anyway, and the cooldown is relatively low. So at least you got the harassment out and forced Abed to use bottle charges or I mean, send out salve. That kill was pretty important because if you look at the, the CS and the net worth specifically, uh, Ori's doing very well in yep. the mid lane. Which, I mean, we didn't really talk about this, but Puck versus Lina, how, how do you fare in terms of uh, the Puck? Is this like a normal laning start so, in terms of the discrepancy in I want to say half a year ago, this was a Puck favored lane, but I think Lina's have kind of just caught up, both in terms of playstyle and a little bit of buffs to the hero, so it's probably a relatively even and the Hex, yeah, and with the rotation of Abed, not even needing to coil here. Nicely done. Just the illusory orb and waning rift. Nice and easy. Very good heroes against Void in lane for killing Lion, one of the best supports. The, the amount of sheer lockdown is Makes it super easy to connect, and then the puck with the silence. Oh, they're gonna oh, get DY as well. They cancel TP. That's pretty big. DY. All he can do is cold embrace. But again, ice, ice, ice. It feels like EG always have these heroes <laughs> that just burst them down in the cold embrace. Yep. And they're gonna get the tier one down. This is an eight-minute tier one. This is really very big lead for EG currently. 
And it's scary, because like we've talked about, the amount of playmaking potential that Vici's lineup just inherently offers is not great. Uh, you need the Doom to have a dagger, you need your Void to have levels. And your support duo of Grimstroke Wyvern is great follow-up, but not really the best setup. It's very team dependent. So I do see a lot of pressure being put on these side lanes for Vici Gaming to somehow find moves. Old 11 is going to get level 6. Which is something, and we'll keep ramping up that gold, but... Compared to some of the other old 11 Doom games we've seen in this tournament, his net worth is actually very bad. At this point, yeah, in some true. games, when he's having a great game, he's sitting at 5k here, or 5.5 even. And he's doing very well, so EG have shut him down a good amount. Yeah, we've talked about how Doom can kind of... I mean, I don't know if this is a deceiving stat with, like, the Alchemist line. Is it... How similar is it with the Devourer just giving you this extra gold, where if you have a 2k lead, you could actually... You're basically behind. You know, at, at like the right. 12, 13 minute mark. Yeah, I, I mean, I think so. It's just not as extreme, I'm guessing. If you have the same net worth as Timbersaw, minute 9 as Doom, it means Timbersaw did better in his lane. Because mm -hmm. you just, you know, you get bonus gold that Timber can't find. So overall, definitely can be a bit misleading. So not only is it a 2k lead, it's a 2k lead against Doom. Yeah. So in many situations, this would be a 3k at this point. If now it's a 3k, started. then it would be 4. Now it's a 2k, then it would be 3 Center, can you keep going? No. Teach right. us the numbers. We learned counting yesterday with EG versus TNC. We don't need to do a repeat course. If you're looking to learn how to count, watch VOD of game number one yeah. between TNC and EG from yesterday. I think Gabby came after whatever the number was, right? That's how it worked. Count to 23, and then the next number is Gabby is dead. Yep. Yeah, there you go. All right, ice, ice, ice. Now that he's taking care of that tier one mid, or tier one top, I should say, is now working towards mid, but there's three members of Vici Gaming, and that is a lot of magic damage. He's gonna get pretty aggressive here with that timber chain. Arctic burn applied. Orion Company being a little bit reserved right now. I mean, if you're... Oh, actually, we have a backstab potential here from Artesian Company. Fly, he's going to get doomed, but there's a reflection, and the rest of EG basically teaming up on old 11, and that's going to put him in the grave, and the doom not even to get the kill. <laughs> the way they Phoenix. put the spray, it looked like he disappeared into becoming an OTZ paint on the ground. <laughs> well, maybe funny. that's a future cosmetic yeah. that just Giant automatically sprays top. after death. <laughs> That would be interesting, because a lot of people don't spray right now, yeah. That's true. Hmm. Great more, uh, more money for Valve? Not only, does they, not only do they get the Doom kill, but the Doom gets expended as well. Yeah. And now they're looking to push the tier 1 tower, and it looks like Vici Gaming aren't able to defend, so... Is he gonna deny it, Cinder? They are ramping up so hard right now on EG's side in this game. Uh, Doom went for the Midas, by the way, as he has done for most of his Doom games, if not all in this tournament. So again, impact will be delayed. It's delay, delay, delay from VG Gaming. And it's going to be delayed for another 10 minutes by the looks of it. And EG will definitely try to squeeze every advantage they can out of the map. Already looking at the mid oh, here. Oh, Finger okay. of death used top lane. That's going to net them the good. That net them the kill on the faceless void. As the egg comes out in the mid lane, tier 1 tower is still surviving. But the chakram damage, way too much to withstand. Fly does take a tumble. But again, these are core heroes going down for Vici Gaming. Winter Scars into the hook stop. Ink Swell to follow. Looks like Abed. Now he does get the phase shift off in time, along with the illusory orb. Trying to get to the high ground, but the stroke of fate does connect. Okay. Puts the GG branch down. It's really just for show and nothing else. Doesn't really block anything. Abed, looks like he will get the last orb off and should be good to go. Honestly, great spell casting from Vici Gaming there to almost get the kill on Puck. That was a beautiful setup. They use Curse, delaying them long enough that Grim can come in for the silence and Inkswell. Abed still manages to get out with that timely phase shift and escape. So that is all tier ones down minute 11 for EG. The space on the map really limited right now and avoid one of those heroes that doesn't really inherently do a good job at pushing side lanes low risk right he's not like yeah. a terror blade or a naga that can just send illusions and deal with that and then farm jungle he is Radiance it's just a hero limitation he hits one creep at a time and those kind of heroes generally don't do a good job under these conditions, so... Yeah, we have not seen a Doom or a Chronosphere or a Laguna Blade really come into, a, like, a valuable kill of any kind. Right. So, and the Midas... I mean, again, this is not a surprise. Old 11, obviously, like we talked about, farms really well in Doom. He's been buying Midas pretty much every game. Do you think this is the right game for it when you're down three towers? Radiance bottom tower um, is, under is this a little too greedy, perhaps? Maybe. 
maybe this was a dagger game just so you can make moves with Grim. But I think potentially their lead uh, or their read on the game is even if we have that dagger, we're still unfavored. So why would we force fights if we don't think we're ready yet? Mm -hmm. And then get the Midas Radiant into then dagger and then hopefully fortified. align that with the timing on the Lina and avoid having at least a Maelstrom. So you have a little bit of damage in the Chrono. Uh, I, could, I could see arguments for both sides, honestly, or both ways of building. Um, can't say I'm surprised to see the Midas come out though. Fair enough, Syndrome. Fair enough. I figure Dagger you'd be a real hater, actually, if anything, of the Hand of Midas here. I, I think in this patch, sometimes you can really pull off this kind of greed, uh, but EG is one of the hardest teams to do it against, so obviously a bold choice. But by necessity, is under attack. in this game, that might be the worst oh, idea. Right. From Ori, LSA is there into the Laguna Blade and Doom, but there's a heals from Fly coming out. I'm not sure if Ice 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 can get it. He is super tanky, though, but I think finally they will be able I mean, they expended pretty much everything. Winter's Curse is still there, though, along with the Chrono. But again, without the Chrono, or uh, sorry, with the Chrono, they don't really have much damage anymore to follow it up with, mm -hmm. especially when Boy just doesn't have any items as of yet. We can see a counter smart from EG, knowing that a lot of these spells are down. Ice 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 will be up in about 15 seconds. Illusion. If they can find anything on the high ground here. Illusion spotting out PYW. They're going to go another route. Radiant they want to find a hex scanning. opener onto Void here with Crit leading the charge. They could also open with Coil. That's a fast blink, by the way. <laughs> oh, yes. That is a dagger. very fast Boy, blink. Boyo's dead. Oh, we'll see. He's nope. They're right by the going. tier two tower, yeah. They were actually, mm -hmm. okay, I guess they were, they're liking the information about where the supports are on Vici Gaming's side, and they were hesitant. They were worried there was a counterplay there from a Wyvern Curse or a Grimstroke Silence. Nice, nice, nice. Just Getting some help from that. Crit. Yeah, now they know he has a blink dagger, PYW. Oh, okay, finally goes down to the right clicks, and I do believe that the tier two tower will be Radiant's the next objective for attack. EG. I think they're actually just going to let this one go, though. They don't have Glyph. Yeah, Doom's ult's still down, but pretty much everything else is up right now. And I mean, the real issue is your initiation is kind of just the time lock, right? Very aggressive here from Crit. Yeah, okay. Gonna get the burst onto DY. Not enough for the kill as of yet. Ice 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 trying to find it with Chakra, but DY able to Arctic burn up to the high ground. And even though they don't get that kill, they still put the pressure and get the tower. But Finger of Death obviously now on cooldown. For two and a half minutes. Not the end of the world. I think it's okay to go for that try there. Honestly, it looked like it could have been scary if Vici responded, but EG's read on the situation is Vici aren't interested in any sort of conflict right now. We just want to stay alive. And they are closing the gap in terms of net worth. Obviously, the Doom getting all of that gold from the Midas Plus Devourer will eventually break even. And he is catching up to Arteezy. Most impressive, though, is Lina's 1,500 ahead of Abed still. Yeah. Ori has been somehow, with his 2-2 two two score line, still farming so much more. He's like 50 CS ahead of Abed, who has been making a lot of moves for his team. And also a natural consequence of playing with Terrorblade is that there's just less space on the map for your team. Terrorblade just is a farm sponge. He will just vacuum everything up that he can. See him go back to base for a little bit of refill here. Sanjin Yasha complete. And Dragon Lance, so oh. very strong. Yo yo yo, it's gonna be spotted out by Abed. He gets off the time dilation, but neither of them really have enough damage to take each other out, so they'll just part ways. But the rest of Vici he bought smoked info, up though. here. Abed with a very good read to back out here. Yeah. Very nicely done. That would have been an enormous kill for Vici. I mean that essentially would have tied things up, I feel like. Uh, as you said, the old 11 starting to catch up big time thanks to the Devour and Midas. Uh, has the blink going for BKB next. And BKB seem to be the name of the game in pretty much every game these days, Cinder. But yep. then again, now that status resistance is a thing, I know how much you hate it. It does give you another option, which I love personally. Yep. Okay, jumps in with the Hex onto Lina, but the Winter's Curse is there. Ice 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 applying some pressure oh, to DY no. in the meantime. Po Yo Yo misses the Chronosphere. Now the coil onto two. Golden Brave, but you had to think with Ice 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 nearby that Ori should be done, though. And indeed he is. DY bailing out Po Yo Yo. Attempting to TP out himself. The egg isn't quite in range. Must have been right on the edge there. Old 11 gets out as well, so honestly, like Vici Gaming. They're lucky to get out with only they one death. They should be really happy getting a one for one for that. Even though it's Alina for a position four lion, that is only a 200 gold swing. They whiffed the chrono. The curse only stunned the lion next to a centaur creep, which they didn't combine on. 
because Abed countered the Lina follow-up. That could... I mean, it could have gone worse for Vici, but... It, yeah. look, so look at this here. So they get this curse, the Chrono misses, the Lina stun gets interrupted there by the leash coming out from Puck. And somehow Vici only lose one. That's pretty crazy. I mean, I feel like with that, if that was another kill, probably they would have just gone for Roche immediately, right? I mean, meta was still up. Yeah, um, EG could have got. I mean, it's 18 minutes. I feel like the Roche is definitely the play. But Oyo Yo still working on his BKB. PYW is going to get hex with initiation from Crit, and this will be a, a quick cleanup for EG. I and it, I do win. believe that on the Grim for PYW, he's building an Aghanim Scepter, which pretty ambitious. But what do you think of that in this against this lineup? Radiant. I mean, the, uh, you have to wait for meta, right? So right. The meta illusion is pretty freaking good. It is good. so strong. Uh, Ichi do have some good solutions against that illusion, though, right? They have, I think. So what damage do they have? It's a strong illusion, so I don't think you can. You can't hex it with mana drain it, right? Oh, on that. Him. Oh. You all? Yeah, waning rip to start. He's silenced for now, but actually the juke around the trees. Abed doesn't want to oh, coil. Illusory orb. Oh, oh, there's the coil. Now they know he's here. And this will lead to a pretty easy kill oh, for EG. Oh, no. I mean, he was dead anyway, let's be real. But, wow, that was very close. I wonder why he waited for Ori to get out. Coil. Maybe they were trying to bait in extra reinforcements from Vici and get a better fight. So this is, they get the pick off, and I mean, Arteza doesn't even have meta yet, but they're still able to take Roche, it looks like, thanks to Ice Ice Ice. Is this kind of a surprise from Vici, you think? That they wouldn't even expect this, considering meta's down? Or is this just based off the pick of Lina? I think it's mainly based off the pick. It's not too surprising to see an EG lineup go here minute 20 when they're Radiant especially. We'll claim it. Putting it on Arteezy. Looks like it could have made a case for putting it on the Puck as well. Yeah. But I mean, we'll give it to Terrible. I mean, these transformation heroes, it's always kind of tricky. Because if you use the meta, you die with Aegis, you come back and you're, you know, half your effective worth is down the drain. I just made Radiant's up that number, by the way, but I'm sure you can calculate it in your head, whatever the correct number 62. would be. Sixty-two point three percent. Very. That's a great voice. Who's that imitating? You. That's the wrong answer. Okay. Not oh. that old yet, but I appreciate the effort, Cinder. And good effort as always. All right, Arteezy now with the ages. Four and a half minutes to go for that bad boy, and he's basically aligned with a net worth of Doom, which again, I mean, would you consider this kind of inflated net worth? You know what I mean? Like Alchemy, like when I mean. you have a ton of gold, it's not quite as effective as the right. rumor might suggest. If the net worth on Doom, if one gold on Doom was worth as much as one gold on any other offlaner or on Terrorblade, the hero would be like insane, right? Mm -hmm. It's still very good because, you know, it has good spells and items are items. Uh, but oh, we got is. a double TP. Oh. All 11's in the area. The blink is available with the Doom. They have everything up right now. I'm hearing a coil. They found Lena. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, they missed it. Okay. They're going to be able to burst down Lena regardless. Koyo Yo wants to jump in, but gets the time dilation off. But again, they're already dead. I don't think they want to fight, and they really don't want to expend this buyback. Great, great play from Abed. That's, it's so crucial that he finds the Lena there, or this setup from Vichy. Was that the Yule's trick? Is that what yeah, you're saying? Yeah, he dodged. Okay. He broke out of the coil with Yule's on the edge. Mm -hmm. The reason it works like that is that coil has a, a range uh, after which it snaps, but that also counts height. I, either it's because it counts height or because you move a little bit horizontally. I, I thought it was the latter. I, I think it's because you move bit. a little bit horizontally when you're yeah. spinning in Yule's. So you, if you place yourself perfectly, that little bit of horizontal movement can break the coil while you're invulnerable in uh, in the Yules. Mm -hmm. So nicely done there by Ori, but in the end it didn't matter because Crit was there to follow up with a second stun, and the burst. Oh boy, oh, efforts were in vain. Yep, Things time walk. Out of here. Doesn't have a TP for 23 seconds, but EG might get kind of sick of trying to chase him. They might assume he has it in the trees right now. They do not have scan oh, right now. Abed could honestly find him here with an orb. Abed misses. Oh. I mean, this is completely blind. There's no reason to think that he doesn't have his TP up, so he'll be good to go. Yeah. Now He's the question is, wave now, is that Yule's trick? Oh, he found him. Wait. Oh, oh he actually Remember? jumps in. Gets the waiting rip. The batches are coming out. Chronosphere is available. Gets the coil off. Looks like he wants to pump that. No, Abed is creating space as Crit comes in with that hex. Impale to follow, and wow, I cannot believe they found that kill. Unbelievable for EG. That was without a scan. 
Yeah. And it's not like it's a hero that's easily going to kill the wave like a, a quick puck. I guess he's going off the map information that he has, where he's Dyer's like, bottom tower has fallen. he's not showing anywhere else, and Dyer's we have pretty good vision, so that was nice. he might still be there to try to cut Radiant's the wave. Let me just throw an orb just in case. Mm -hmm. That pays off big time. That's high ground for EG. Absolutely. Meta Dyer's is popped. And Arteezy still with the Aegis for another two minutes. Doom is available. Obviously, Arteezy is not the target you want to go for. As the BKB is already... Oh, I... Oh, uh, okay. That's, it is the target you want to go for, apparently. He's just going to get healed by Phoenix in the back line. Uh, this... Hmm... Question mark? Interesting is a very good voice line for this. Hmm. That is really bad news. I mean, it's one thing if you doom him and kill him, so you burn the meta, right? But you bought five seconds. <laughs> That's all you did. You used PKB and Doom, now you... Oh yeah, my that God. is a tier three tower and a giant Not spell down for Vici. Not a good look for Vici, and old 11 in particular. That just feels a little bit like a tilt move, like panic. Right. He had time to wait for his teammates. You see the meta is down. about to run out, but they, I mean, they get what they came for. They give it up. Absolutely. Is he actually going to stick for the range? Is this worth... I mean, 50 seconds on the Aegis, so he probably won't even use it. So just die of natural causes and go back into Roshan's bowels where it came. That's in the lore, by the way, in case you were wondering. But yeah, the Doom, I, I, maybe just a miscommunication, expecting somebody to help him. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm, I was looking at their hero placements and there was no play there, I think. Hmm. That was very peculiar. Double damage going to be grabbed here by RTC. He's going to hold on to that, maybe for the next meta. Radiant or they're just going to go and take advantage of the DD together with Coil. Knowing that they have the Aegis for the back of oh, if they find Ori here, it's everything is just coming up. EG this game. Yeah. They don't see him. Wait, do oh, they? they did see yeah. him. Yeah, oh, the blink by crit. Yeah, they definitely saw him. And this is a, another enormous kill for EG. Just feels like Ori cannot. I mean, he, he's been farming great, but the last few minutes between him and Poyo Yo, he's oh, being found out constantly. Oh, oh, oh my he God. wants the chrono? Like he, oh, he gets getting it coiled. He gets the BKB off, attempting to TP out. Should be successful. But that is, I believe that's his first BKB charge, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, right now. The million dollar. Ay, ay, ay. This is rough stuff for Vici. It really was, it, it really was when it going to be one of two games, right? It was either going to be the game where EG don't put enough pressure and Vici Gaming get to farm and they hit a really crazy mid game timing, or it was going to be this one. Yeah. And EG have done just done, again, such a good job at finding opportunities. Again, especially Abed on his puck is just opening up the map for them every single game. He gets his hand on this hero. All right, the double damage. Arteezy. Yeah, that was a hero. No longer. Yep. PYW just trying to cut the waves to delay a bit. There's no Aegis this time, and Doom is ready. So there is a way for Vici to take a fight if EG try to go high ground by Dooming the Terror Blade and just collapsing on them. By the way, didn't go Lotus. We we're never right on Ice Ice Ice's uh, itemization. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> Goes for the status resist, obviously, and uh, the Greaves coming Greaves next. for the Dispel. All right, fair enough. Main point is he wants a Dispel against True. Dilation, So, True. But he is delaying it, like you said, getting these other items. I guess the status resistance is pretty good there on the on the Kaya Sanj for this game against Doom. Indeed. So prioritizing that over getting Lotus Orb. EG kind of uh, grouping up towards that bot area. Obviously, you already have the melee racks and the range is uh, not super important, but it looks like the siege will probably take care of this one. And, I mean, if they're gonna play super disciplined, I just assume they're waiting for second Roche. It's not too far away. We'll know. Uh, in a, or is that? I can't remember. Yeah, we'll know in a minute. 12 when it actually spawns. Right, you see Arteezy is hovering a Satanic on Terrorblade, so getting some more health pool, getting that immediate heal back if he survives the Doom. And yeah. of course, Vici. opens up for some cool plays with Sunder into Satanic, which he has done earlier this tournament. They want to fight here. Yeah. Again, everything is up. They just haven't been able to combo these spells at all. Oh, the level with the Ink Swell. Is their target for now? LSI connects into a Luna Blade and the Doom applied as well. Soulbind onto two. Poyo Yo finally with the Chronosphere on multiple heroes. And they're going to be able to get two EG members as Arteezy pops the Metamorphosis and fly. Egg didn't really do much, but there's a coil. Only up to one. He's actually going to break it. And now Arteezy beats the absolute oh. shit out of Abed. And down he goes. And this means oh. EG need to backtail away. Yep. This is something we didn't actually talk about. Wyvern is really good against Terrorblade. Um, Great curse target. Obviously, when you get anyone next to Terrorblade, his damage is insane, and you give him that attack speed. And when any of your allies get targeted, you can, of course, save against Terrorblade with Cold Embrace, but EG have other damage in spades. 
those kinds of situations, it is really good. And Vici Gaming, they hold on. That was a pretty big gold swing. I think that was 4K and Arteezy's Metamorphosis will now be on cooldown. And? So it's going to overlap with the next volley of spells from Vici Gaming. Once meta is up, so will Chrono, Doom, and Laguna be. Well, all of them, obviously. Those are the longest cooldowns they have. Yeah, Roche will be up in a minute. Uh, PYW has his Aghanim Scepter. So Dark Portrait is available. We can see the here. replay here. And yeah, they finally found a combo. Yep. I feel like they just haven't been on the same page this game until this moment. And he actually gets the Midas off. That's probably the biggest story here, Sindarin. Oh my god. Minus Curse efficiency. Heroes next to Terribly, I tell you, it is like one of the most satisfying things you can do as a support player. It feels so good. Mm -hmm. Like having a position five with the ability to solo kill the enemy mid with one spell is just insane when it lands. Oh, 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 that's the aggressive four staff there from Crit. And that's the cleanup some crew. Sweet revenge for EG. Yeah. And the gem, actually. So that's. They're not waiting around. Even though they don't have meta, they're actually still just playing super aggressive and pushing because they feel like their read on the game is sure, we don't have metamorphosis and Terrorblade, but your cooldowns are more important anyway. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're not going to give you any space. That's we'll go true. back to our aggressive wards and, and fight you head on. Ateezy with that satanic now. Yeah, he's it's a, a very difficult boy. kill. I dare say they almost. I feel like they shouldn't even try to kill him unless they doom him. Like, it's just too high risk, right? Like, up. Maybe with some sort of really good chrono and everything landing, perhaps. But you're still fighting against the counter initiation of Puck. You're fighting against Sunray heal. Uh, he is still a tough a tough kill. Yeah, I, I Fly? think uh, I think Fly's taking the shard, by the way. Yeah, I was going to say, he hasn't bought one. We're 30 minutes in. It feels like a really good shard game. Very, very good against uh, Faithless Void to so, be able yeah. to egg into Sunray. This will allow Sunray to be cast during his ult, and then Sunray just in general will slow the a little bit. Could give it some, I mean, they have a couple of good shards here, but it does I, look I, good. I think it's clearly Fly's game for this, yeah. Uh, I, you could argue for Ice 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 for extra tower push with the flamethrower, but Feels unnecessary. I mean, now that you have Deso on Abed, it, I mean, you have way, you have enough yeah, for building sure. push for sure. Radiant All right, so Aegis down. Cheese Shard now online for EG. Another five minutes to play with it. So we'll see what they can get out of this time. I mean, I think you're right. It, at this stage, it's really, I mean, the Dark Portrait, let's not, you know, mm -hmm. that, that is a play for sure. Uh, but it feels more like the Winter's Curse is the saving grace for Vici, I feel like. Yeah, the, so what I did talk about earlier with the Dark Portrait is that it's a special kind of illusion. Uh, it, there's a lot of things that don't target it that usually targets illusions. So terribly, it needs to make sure that he gets rid of that illusion. They don't have the best other heroes for killing it. Um, but we will see if it does end up having a big impact. EG are definitely looking interested in committing on high ground. Not going to do it just yet, respecting the big team fight that Vici has to offer. And you see all of Vici's heroes. It's five heroes in base. Nobody's out on the map finding farm. So EG passively just out farming here. Keep live playing big camp. Abed's taking care of top area. Arteezy's playing triangle plus mid. So every minute the GPM for EG should be going up more than that of Vici, even though they have a doom with Midas. They are still building and building and building on this lead. And Arteezy will look to break a bit here. Yeah, top lane is there to play right now, but oh my god, a lot of damage being applied to Arteezy, and that is the Aegis down in the blink of an eye. Doom is already used. There's the Chrono onto Arteezy. Question is, is there any save? The Sunray's coming in through the Chronosphere. Arteezy trying to get off the Thunder, trying to get off his cheese as well, but the Winter's Curse applies. Looks like he might go down. He's going to be really close. Finally drops, but he does have buyback if he wants to expend it here. Looks like Lion has already done so. Now Abed trying to run away, so it looks like Arteezy will save it. No, he actually does use the buyback. Abed getting right click down, gets the face shift off. Looks like he might be okay. Poyo Yo coming in with the right clicks. He doesn't quite have the vision. Illusion Lord comes out. Abed still more than fine. Getting healed up now by Fly. He's actually going to jump into Poyo Yo. There's the save potential from DY, but they still have the burst damage to go through. And again, buyback from Arteezy, but he has meta. And now he's going to be doing this ridiculous amount of damage. DY gets melted. Of course, Winter Curse on cooldown is old 11. All right, can they actually burst that down? Arteezy, oh this is a dieback with the LSA Laguna Blade combination. And now EG have to get the hell out of here. Gem is dropped. Crit will pick it up and blink away. They destroyed him. That illusion. Look at that. It's very fast, too. Yeah, and it's ranged, <laughs> even though it looks melee. Yeah, it, it's very deceiving. It's going to get patched. Yeah, I'm sure that's In really important. Very important patch fix. What happened? Oh, that right. was insane. I really did not think Vici could kill him twice like that. And then he buys back and they kill him a third time. Like, consider how many spells they used for the first two kills, right? They used Doom, Chrono, Laguna, Dark Portrait, and Curse 
on the first volley. Yeah. And then they still managed to make that insane call that they can kill him there the third time at the tower with just Doom, Lina, and Grimm. What an amazing defense. It's still really costly for Vici Gaming. We're talking about it like it's some sort of big win. They kind of just hold on and claw I back. I lived 2, here. 000, wow. Yeah, that was really crucial. Like, Abed, if the Void had got one more bash there, that would have been a kill on Abed, and it would have been even better for Vici. But still, and they see, stay in the game. This is after Arteezy is bought back, and now you can see the buybacks galore for Vici. And they're able to burst him down despite this. I mean, Dark Portrait's just owning him. I mean, I think the lockdown is the biggest problem. He can't even get Sunder off. He can't get Satanic off. Does so he need like a BKB more. at this point? It would seem like that would be a wise I mean, choice. It doesn't feel good against Void, but at the same time, another option the is to buy Butterfly. But it's a little bit risky because you obviously get the evasion against your own illusion, but it also means the illusion is harder to kill and get stronger against everyone else. Mm -hmm. But he is fighting against himself largely in this game with that dark portrait. You're right. He won't disc. get a defensive item, but it won't be the BKB. He's going for a disc to try to protect himself. That is still... It's pretty solid, right? But if you get doomed, I think you're still dead. Like, I don't think that extra little bit of time you buy is going to be significant. So, got to question a little bit if this is the purchase. You could go BKB, you could go Lincolns, you could go the Butterfly Heart, if you wanted to just get raw health. Mm-hmm. Guess we'll see. Yeah, Ian this seems to be the, the item of this tournament for sure. Disc and Locket. That's true. Locket's kind of cool, though. I, I'm not mad about Locket, I like you know? It. It, it, it's been in the dumpster for so long. It, it needs to see the light of day, and it finally is. As we see a smoke now from Vici, as all their spells are back online. The whip as well. Very important to use that for extra move speed. I think Vichy are hoping to find Arteezy here. It's like the biggest kill they can possibly get. He bought back, so if they get that kill, he will not have buyback for an upcoming Roche. Mm -hmm. But obviously the early Roche spawn being 250 away, actually killing him now wouldn't unlock that for them. He would be alive again. And if nothing else, they get vision out, right? Like yeah. they smoke out, they get two somewhat decent wards out here. But no kills. Interesting. Yeah, Poyo, yeah, we haven't really talked about his itemization so far, but BKB Mjolnir, I mean, at 35 minutes, that is quite terrible. That is really bad for him. Faceless for void. void in this tournament. Yes, that's kind of what it's felt like, right? But, I mean, they do have the team fight to potentially extend this game. We've seen it a couple times now, and it's something that EG has to respect. And I feel like, again, like when the high ground becomes this difficult because of the team fight potential of Vici, it's just these Roshans. I mean, if Vici can steal a Roshan, you think that that could potentially turn the game completely around for them? Yes. If they get one Roche, the game is even. They're still clearly behind in this game, I would say, but they have to feel a bit inspired by the defense they just pulled off top. It makes them, probably makes them believe that they can really do this. And if they get an Aegis Cheese and a Refresher or an Aghanims in hand, all of a sudden, that Dark Portrait is going to use it to farm with, it looks like. Kill off this illusion if he can catch up. Which illusion wins? The Dark Portrait will, because it does more damage. Trick question, guys. There's actually an answer to it. But that's, that's what, a trick. what a trick question is. That's right. All right, guys. You learned here What's today. two plus two? It's four. Trick question. That's right. It was actually a number. It, it's a next level question because it seems so obvious. And it was the correct answer. <laughs> you, see. you know, I would actually like to make a, a PSA here. Mm -hmm. You know how we've talked about like these mispronunciation of words that people like get annoyed with? Pronunciation. Thanks a lot. Whatever. Yep. Like the Abaddon's, the, the Aegis or whatever you want to say. Everybody that complains about people mispronouncing things. How do you say, what's that green consumable item called? The health pot. What's it called? Healing cell? Did you know it's salve? Does it have to be that? That's the correct pronunciation. Salve. If you say healing salve, like me and Cinderin, you're pronouncing it wrong. Like Cinderin and I. God, I hate you so much. <laughs> oh, God. Old 11 beating the crap out of this illusion, popping the Shivas as well. And we're going to see a little bit of downtime as we wait for the next Roche, it looks like. Yep. Sav. <laughs> I, I, I can't get over it, man. I can't get over it. All right, big moment. We get the timer on Roche. It was a trick question. It's 57 seconds. <laughs> that wasn't a question. 
good. You're learning. <laughs> Here comes the Terrorblade Illusion Ooh. on Illusion action. It's an the anime scene escape. that we are not seeing. That's right. They are still chasing. Man. And the winner is... The darker one, I guess? Yes. Yeah, it lasts longer too. Wins again. Right? Uh, I think it's similar duration, actually. Okay. Conjure Image has a pretty long duration. Yeah, these what is the duration of Dark strong. Portrait? I actually don't remember. Is it 25 seconds? Or 30? No. It doesn't matter. We don't. It's a trick question. What are the answer? 25. All right, it was a trick question. Good. All right. Do you think any item changes the game? I mean, again, we're waiting for this Roche, but uh, is there an item that we're waiting for that will tip the scales one way or the other? I think Timeless Relic on Lina with Aghanim Scepter would be really strong, mm. or on Doom. Right. Um, they're going to get one on Puck, it looks like, for EG, which is good. Okay. Would be nice to see a full overview. Here we go. So, uh, Illusionist Cape could have been nice for Terrorblade. He's not going to get that. Yep. Um, yeah. Timeless Relic on the Doom for now. This Roche is going to be uncontested. I don't know, man. I feel like yeah. BT Gaming can't do it again. They're just giving this one up for free, and this one is really big. This one has extra stuff. Age or er, uh, Aghanim Scepter. Scepter. Who do we want it on? Terrorblade Ags is quite good. Putting it on Puck for now. Okay. And he will. All right. So the old Puck Ags. I mean, we see that all the time, so it's not as exciting, but we'll allow the break to go through magic immunity. Always very handy, obviously. Radiant's I mean, the Terrorblade Axe is really good. It gives you that fear uh, ability, it's strong and it gives you meta for like 10 seconds. Pop. Yeah, so in conjunction, that's true. You could have argued that they yeah. could get it on Terrorblade together with a Blink Dagger and then just use Coil Initiation into Terrorblade Fear. Yeah, that's a pretty crazy combo. But it obviously is dependent on them not getting BKBs off during the Coil, or the combo can backfire pretty heavily. So then you committed those things to I mean, try you, to do a combo. You can Fear first. And then coil after, right? Yeah, I don't remember how fast the fear travels. <laughs> it's pretty fast. I mean, it's a decent duration. But yeah, like I said, it's dependent. All right. So four minutes for EG Radiant to take another scanning. set of barracks. So you don't think Vici can uh, wombo combo that again? I mean, Void is... Uh, He's still pretty under right, Let me rephrase it. They can do it again, but the difficulty must be ramping up based on the fact that you just got an Aghanim Scepter on top this time, right? Yeah. You're not you're not really gaining more map control as Vici Gaming. Your old wards that you placed have both expired, so the map is very dangerous right now. And EG can kind of do whatever they want, which seems to be missing timber chains right now. He did get Lotus, by the way. <laughs> we were when right! You it, when you it. Yes! That was obvious the whole time. So two ways to dispel now. That's always nice. And actually going for a Lincolns as well. So pretty cool build. Yeah, maybe you just build five Lincolns and put them all on our TZ and then he sieges. Uh, I think you need to wait for the tier fives and get mirror shield as well for that to have optimal uh, true. effect. Very for true. sure. Uh, yeah, we can see fly now. Obviously Closing with that level shard. 18. Yeah. Oh, again with the, the max HP per finger talent. Mm -hmm. Talking about how that's been uh, not as popular, but since I've talked about it, it has been popular. Obviously, people are watching this cast and learning mm -hmm. a lot of things from me specifically. Yeah, you are a lion expert. You say the hero's broken because he mana drains you in lane, and there's <laughs> nothing you can do about it. It slows too, okay? It's, I mean, it's way too powerful. It, it does slow. I don't like it. All right. All right, level 20. Yeah, we haven't chosen a 10. This is going to be the most exciting thing for the next 10 seconds, so extra phantom kill or 800 Stroke of Fate Castor. I mean, the Stroke of Fate Castor with the Aether Land Cinderin and Seer Stone at the 60 minute mark, you can use Stroke of Fate from Fountain literally. That's okay? true. You can't die unless they Fountain Dive you. Okay, he goes for the other one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, probably the right choice Unlucky. in this game. Yeah, yeah it probably is. Although, honestly, when you're this when you're playing this defensively, there is a lot of good stuff to be said about the Stroke of Fate Taunt, right? But I think what he's focused on with the Phantom, uh, with the Phantom Taunt is if he gets that on Puck, the extra three hits are a really big deal. The last time when we had the Void almost kill Puck in the top three line uh, up north, oh boy, that would have been a kill with this is what they want. That, that Taunt. All right, this is go time for EG. DD has spawned. I, I'm not even sure. Were they actually waiting for this Stop potentially the 42 minute mark? Possibly. They could just feel it deep down inside. Sometimes you get that feeling. And this time it pays off for EG. Uh, if you control every rune, eventually it spawns, right? It's just a matter of time. That's right, Cinderin. Trick question. All right, Mjolnir applied to this illusion as it's trying to push the wave. It's doing so pretty successfully, actually. That's the illusion escape on Void. 
who, again, that, that's the big story for the late game. I mean, we've arrived in the late game now, but Faceless Void, not our Poyo Yo, not with much farm. He's not able to kill many people in that Chronosphere he is, by himself. He has about the same net worth as his Grimstroke. Yeah, well, Grimstroke uh, is getting a lot of farm thanks to the just... Terrible Eight Illusions. Abed, waning rift into the tower. All right. Well, they can slow siege. But there is only a minute left on the Aegis, so might... I don't know. There's a lot on the line here. EG are showing a lot of respect after their last failure to push high ground. They're slowing things down. They're going to try to keep poking it, probably with Terrorblade Illusions and maybe a puck hit here or there. With the blink attack into phase shift attack into orb out. Only did it that one time, though. Probably respecting the chance that Vichy could be ready for it this time. But I feel like it's a very limited risk play. Like, what are they going to catch him with that fast? He has a Lincolns on the puck, right? Yeah. So it's only Chrono that could really get him, or some sort of insane prediction stun from Lina or Link Doom yeah, Stomp. I mean, it, it does, again, it takes them a while to kill him, but at the same time, you have you have Fly that's going to pop the egg immediately to be able to Sunray through the Chronosphere, as long as he's not caught within it as well. But, I mean, again, there's a lot of burst damage, though. They just don't beat you. They didn't use it. They did not. So Dyer's Cheese is still there, though, is uh, as Aeon Disc. Uh, How much room do they have to grow now on EG? Like, what really impactful items are coming up? Puck has one slot from the Treads and a potential slot from the Gem. There's a Daedalus on the way for him. Uh, Timber Saw. yeah, you can get more items, but I don't... Like, maybe a Hex, I guess? Yep. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he can always get Ags, that's obviously very good, and the shard to, as well. Like, you have to consider, it's a little bit deceptive <clears throat> in this game, right? Like, yeah, you have a 20k gold lead, but the other team has abilities that scale indefinitely in a way, right? Doom overpowers everything as long as it goes off. You have the Dark Portrait onto the Terror Blade, I mean, I think always be a threat. One aspect of this is we can obviously see the net worth lead, and it's ballooned. Lena yeah, with brown boots, minute 45. Yeah, that, that's rough stuff. <laughs> that but is, that's... Uh, that's fine. Oh, that's cool. No big deal. He's just getting damage. I mean, as long as EG Those is aren't controlling... Those are the boots uh, that Slex is buying when he that's goes for true. his Venom The build. one boots Thanks he didn't go that. for were Treads, I think. Yeah, he mistaken. was working on it when we lost. That's true. He did go 1 in 19, so it could have also been Jenkins, but it was <laughs> Slex in that game. <laughs> yeah, this is true. Uh, but what I was saying, Cinderin, is... EG is controlling the map, and the, yep. the lead is only increasing at this point, so they're not really pressured per se. Let's have a look at the win right expectancy. Away. I feel like it's barely gone up in the last 10 minutes. That would be my guess. Like, yeah, they're gaining gold, but their their position in the game... In I terms would say of 75%. It, it's probably honestly. higher than that. I'd okay. probably put them on 90, but I 90. think it hasn't changed okay. very much. Can we see it, please? Okay, yeah, yeah I was waiting. But, like, see, it's not, it's not really going up. It's stagnating around this mark. Mm -hmm. Usually when you have this kind of a lead at this point, you're, you're, it's starting to climb to the 100, right? So oh. obviously Vici Gaming still need a miracle defense, but EG's not really <laughs> gaining ground in a way. They, they let this Aegis expire again. Like, I don't know. Are they just going to get the next Roche and then farm with that too? Wow. Abyssal Blade looks to be coming for Arteezy. He had, he had 10k in the bank just a second ago. Is that the best item? I don't know, actually. I, I figured he would... I mean, I guess they're going to get the next Roche, and that's going to be the Axe for him. I, I would be shocked if he doesn't take the Axe. Is he just getting it to remove Lincoln, maybe? I don't know. Although, I will say, Axe on, on Fly would be kind of interesting. It's kind of a big risk-reward situation yeah. where you can put somebody inside your egg to save them. I could see it. Uh, I mean, can we click on Fly real quick? Does he have a Shivas or anything? How farmed is he on the Phoenix? Because once you have the Shivas, it becomes so much harder to actually kill the egg. He has Lincoln, so I'm not that going for that That is a good tell. He's going Lens. You do that when you're getting eggs. Okay. So they are planning for what you said. All right. He wants to get the next age, the next eggs from Roche together I mean, the with the cast range. I mean, the problem is like diving stage. around Chronosphere can be. He's not going to use dive. Are you guys play the that's game? the whole. That's the beauty Dyer's of having Lens on this hero is how much more cast range you get on the Supernova save. Is it actually enough to go through like an entire Chrono? Uh, maybe not with a 25 the talent. But no, not from one edge to the other. Like if they Chrono him perfectly, it's true. Like if he gets him, mm -hmm. you can't go through one edge of the Chrono to the direct opposite one, but you can probably reach someone in the center from outside. I would say you definitely right. can. Right, okay, okay. So you're right, if, if it's very well placed from Poyoyo, there is definitely the potential. Of Senator, I'm getting big. excited. But I, I don't know why I'm getting excited. The tier 5 items are not that far don't do away. It. It didn't I, know, work last I know, time. I know, I know. I, I called know. it minute 54 in the game ended minute. Arteezy? So don't start talking about it. Level 22 right now. Yeah, so. 
Yeah, Vici is smoked right now, down 23k right They got the ward up this moment. EG knows. Artizi doesn't have a blink. He's gonna use but he does have invis, so that's all good. He uses the trickster cloak. Yeah. Six second invis for the win. Gives him a lot of tankiness, of course, with the magic resist. Ice, ice, ice. Oh. And it looks like he's gonna be fine. Dyer's so Vici finally venturing out of the base. They know that they're just being starved for farm. And the next Roshan, which is up in a minute 10, they know now that they have to contest this. And Double there's a damage. DD top. And I believe RTG will be coming for that. I'm actually a little surprised he's only level 22. Does that surprise you? 48 minutes. It is a little bit low. It happens a lot of the time to Terrorblade, right? Like, you get so much of your farm with illusions. Oh, oh we're going to finally get the initiation for you. Yo, he gets a pistol blade in into the Laguna blade. Is that going to be enough? Yes. He actually pops the BKB, but no Chronos here to follow. Still has buyback to work with. And then you're seeing the Puck Ags come into fruition. Four dead in the blink of a freaking eye. All have buybacks. And all have ultimates, basically. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the Soul Bind was the only thing used, so he just still has to be careful he here. BKB and he kept hitting, but didn't cast Chrono or Time Walk. There we go. That was kind of just. Like I don't know if he got bashed after the abyssal. I didn't see him get bashed. All right, I think they're waiting for this void buyback before they maybe How many potentially are back here. That's two. <laughs> a many, many <laughs> linkages. Yeah. All right, they're trying to pop them. Hold the ladder. He gets. Oh, it's the Lotus Orb Doom back on himself, and this will create enough space to at least get the melee racks. Roshan is now up, and this is that is a four-man buyback if I'm not mistaken on Beachy Game. Yep. Holy jeez, that Lotus. Lotus Man, plus Lincoln. He this feels so Doom. bad to play Doom into double <laughs> Lincoln's Lotus. <laughs> Oh man, it's hard. They are really relying on Chrono and on I think something to break Lincoln's with, right? They need a way to break all of these because yeah. the spells that they've been relying on to defend have been Dark Portrait and Doom and Curse. And like at least two of those spells are going to be blocked if you don't have some sort of low commitment item mm -hmm. to break Lincoln's with like a Force Staff or a Halberd or and whatever it could be. All right, let's see. All right. Just They're actually giving it to Arteezy. The, they, the Ags, I think. They give, right? yep, Arteezy took the Ags, now they have that fear combo, and yeah. he has the dagger. So they're going to pull the playoff we talked about 20 minutes ago, or 10 minutes ago, with the coil. But now that it is Ags coil into the fear, that's a really huge impact play. Yeah, very true. All right, now this, this defense is for my No, he didn't have time walk up. He didn't have time walk. And I think once he BKB, he knew he was going to die, so if you buy back without oh, Chrono's fear, you're, you know, you're pretty useless, right? Yeah. So I, I can understand that play since the time walk was down. Did he go the time walk talent? Can we check that? The minus two seconds? Did that feel like a long? He did not. Okay, I mean, 40 attack speed is great, but... Oh, I don't know. What do you he think about this? Up. What do you think about the build of prioritizing stats over points and dilation? I feel like that's like... It is such a good skill. Yeah. That the cooldown reduction especially... That is strange. That, it, maybe he feels that there's just so many dispels right I mean, now. And the main use is on Timber and he has two dispels. Yeah, I guess so. It is still really nice. That you're, is you're holding yeah. it up against four all stats. I mean, he is so under farm right now. Maybe he just feels like it's not going to make a difference. He just needs stats. Maybe, yeah. But I feel like that's... Uh, so. it, it is strange, though, for sure. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's not worth four all stats. Just for the overall potential you have. We have a refresher, by the way, in Abed. He has the Aegis as well, so Swift with all the Lincolns... Okay. That's uh, not delivered quite. Oh, there it is. All right, we're going to have the There's coil the into the fear, like you said, Arteezy. You see the is popping for you, yo. All right. He gets off the Chronosphere onto two, but do they have enough damage? Abed is just beating the crap out of Lina. That's a double kill for him to start things off. Buyback onto him, and I believe with that, Vici has zero buybacks left. Another coil, that's a refresher. Doom applied to the Timber Saw, but the right clicks from Arteezy are just way too much. Triple kill on Abed. Five versus three, and EG look like they're going to move on in the tournament, and Vici will be eliminated. What a game of dope. Quite done yet. Abed wants to farm the fountain just a little bit. They don't really have any meaningful ults up other than Laguna Blade. As, oh, okay, Abed actually taking a lot of right click damage from Ori. Repositioned himself nicely though. And they're just going to continue to pound into this ancient. And there's the Abyssal Blade from Arteezy. The GG's come out. And EG, they are looking really good right now, I have to say. I mean, they played this with a lot of discipline. Maybe they could have won earlier, but they're respectful.